Today's video is all about the secrets. I guess they're secrets. Yeah. All right, secrets of the right arm with the driver so you can hit it farther and straighter. Sean, let's talk about, we'll just start right from the beginning with the driver here. Let's talk about address. We're gonna focus in on the right arm, mainly the bend. Yeah. Right? Uh, let's talk about what kind of bend we see from the best players in the world, typically with the right arm and address. So yeah, with, with, um, with gears, we're able to measure what the golfers are doing. Right arm bend. The high level golfers and high handicappers are amateurs, right? Right, and, and for see... reference, this would be zero. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then yeah. this would be 90. 90. That's the reference we're talking about. So anywhere in this plane of motion, right. and this would call it 120, whatever it is. Right. So and what we've found is over the years, looking at high level tour players and then amateurs or higher handicappers, they move their arms in very different manners in, in this motion. Very different and at very different times. Yeah. So yeah. timing and amount of bend during the swing is drastically different. Right. And it, and it really is, it stands out like these group of tour players do it this way and these That's group right. of high handicappers do it this way. And what does that typically do with the golf club? Is a right arm is a big part of where that golf club goes. Yeah, it changes um, everything. <laughs> Just about. Okay, yeah. so let's start at address and we'll talk about some of the key differences. Okay, okay so at a, in the address position, the tour player will have their right arm basically relaxed, mm -hmm. right? And what would you call that soft. number? Soft, yeah. uh, 10 to 15 degrees. So basically just soft. Soft, so again, We'll, we'll show here, we'll do an overlay of what 15, 10, whatever number we talk about looks like relative to a straight arm. So I think a lot of golfers are really gonna be surprised at how small some of these numbers are relative to a dead straight arm. Absolutely. Now, in, in um, contrast to that, the higher handicappers will lock their right arm. So they'll have basically zero at address. Zero at address, exactly right. So now let's start moving the club away, okay? okay? PJ Tour player, Let's call it. Yep. Moves the 10 club. 10 15 degrees. 10 to 15 degrees at address. Let me swing the club back halfway. Mike, we'll go left we, arm parallel. What are we seeing about right there? We're right around 50 degrees, give yeah. or take a few degrees. So they've taken that 10 to 15, started to fold it gradually, right? Let's let's do it down the line and let them see that without the club. Oh, without the club. So yep. starts at about 15. Let's let's bend it up to 90 from there. Yep. Now half of that. Right there. Now and let's I'm go. my turn. That's it right there. That's around 45 to 50 degrees. That's where they would be halfway back. Right. Now, what do we see from a higher hands? handicapper? They start it straight. Mm -hmm. And what would you say they would be right here? You're going to get two camps. You're going to get the quick folds, mm -hmm. right? Depending on flexibility, you may get a really early fold, or you're going to get the guys really trying to keep it dead straight. Who's been taught to lock it? Right. Gets this right arm way above the left arm. Club face is usually really closed. Now it's not going to stay there. So it's from here to the next benchmark that things really go sideways. So let's go back to the high level player okay. again. Uh, 15, let's say 50. Mm -hmm. At the top of the swing, let's call their range around 90. Okay, yeah, nine, we use between 80 and 90, right. So that would be, if this is a dress, fold it to 90, turn, and that's a good way to practice it. So let me have a club, let's see yeah. you do that again. So here, 90, rotate, top of the swing. Then we got that very tour look at the top. Absolutely. Okay, now, now let me have that. Now okay. let's see what we see on the lesson So tape. locked right arm at address. Right. Go ahead. Either locked straight out here right. or overly bent. Yep. But they all, almost all of the high handicappers have drastically overbent it by so the time So let's go at 120 top. from so setup. By the time the higher handicapper gets to the top, they start at zero and call it 120. Now let's go. Now let's just take that to the top. Now we see a very wrapped around the neck, club collapsed on top of the body, all of that. And, and it's predominantly a right arm movement that causes Yeah, this. no matter where they were here, almost 99% um, of them end yes. up collapsed. And not only collapse, and this is for another video, but they actually retract the right arm usually. Right. And the reason the for the, the camp who's in the straight arm here and why it collapses is because you can't get any power from here. No. So you've got to collapse it to try to get it back off the club. And then the early collapsers, we usually see them as their backswing turns. There are a lot of times these forward benders. We call it so, moving into the arms. So it's that reverse K. So they are actually doing a decent job with the arms, but they move in here. And they can extend them. And get a, yeah, they can extend them. There's a tremendous amount of flexibility involved in that. So the key takeaway for the backswing, by the time the good player gets to the top, he's got a much wider angle between his forearm and his upper arm 
than the average golfer, right? And he right. got there very differently. I think a lot of gradually. golfers are kind of fearful of a shorter backswing because they don't think they can generate speed from there. Yeah, in reality, it puts you in a much more powerful spot. That's when exactly on. right. Okay, so that, that pretty much covers the backswing, right. right? So let's start moving into the downswing. Okay, so let's go with our pro. Let me have your clubs. I think this okay. is a really good way to visualize okay. it. Okay. So let's start at our 90. Okay. Let's go to the top. Okay. Now let's go back. Now we're in the downswing, so let's okay. go to, let's stretch it out about 45 and then give it to about 50. So we go middle and then just short of where we were in the backswing, so okay. right there. Now swing it down to about halfway. Halfway, right there. So left arm parallel, what would you call that angle? It's 50, 50 to 55, so it's just slightly more than where it was going back. So if it was 45 going back or 50, now we're it's, you have a little bit more coming down just from the right. motion, Just right? because of the motion, exactly yeah. right. So that would be the, the tour player motion. That's right. Now the high handicapper has it 120. Yep. Let's say. Yep. Coming down, what happens? We see it around 85 to 95. So basically what's happening with that player on the downswing, A, they're probably trying to hold lag, which has something to do with right. all this mess, right? And B, because they had so much and it only takes a quarter of a second, they can't get rid of it fast enough so they can't create the width they need. Right, so we see this a lot of times when the when the, that right arm gets folded and the club gets collapsed across you, you either gotta be super strong and super patient, which is, most players aren't in the golf swing, uh -huh. or you've gotta start to use the body to get the club back off of you. So now I haven't extended, I haven't started the downswing with my arms, I've done it by just throwing my body back behind the ball. Yeah. And I've still got all this bend here. And a lot of times when they do that, they also Yes, yeah, cast. they gotta get the club head away from them. They got, they've got the elbow tight where they're casting the club That's right. and have this really odd looking wrist angle. I've now, seen that the brutal part about that is now they've got <laughs> .08 seconds yeah. to hit the ball and they've got all this bend. So you're gonna see a raise up and just a straight extension. The hands add all kinds just of loss to, save to it, it at the just bottom. to save it. Exactly Nothing right. Nothing consistent about that. So let's go back to impact now. Okay, so we, we've reached the top with both players. We've reached halfway down. Let's talk about the, the PGA Tour player. Hold your stick okay, there. Okay, so, you know, here at halfway so down. So we're basically halfway back and halfway down are, for all practical Similar purposes, windows. the same. Similar windows. Yep. From there, the player is going to continue to straighten the right arm and be in a window of, what would you say, the impact? 10 to 20-ish? 10 to 20-ish. So, again, almost mirror images. Yeah, and we see a lot of people lately trying to... We see a lot of guys make rehearsals almost at a 90 degree, like they should be able to just 90 degree bend this right arm and get down to that spot, like that's gonna happen. Yeah, and we just It's don't not see gonna it. happen. Yeah, and we don't no. see it. No. So what would you say the average player who has, you mentioned it a minute ago, Yeah. so they're really narrow here, and they've gotta do something at the bottom. Their downswing becomes just a rapid throw. unfolding and throw, straightening. The so body's gotta go whoop, Straight up in the air. So they lose their body angles, they throw these angles and yes. the elbow angle and the wrist angle, right? Yep. And they reach a straight point a lot sooner than the tour player who doesn't really reach full extension with the right arm until the club shaft is parallel. Exactly We've seen right. that over and over and over. That's exactly right. So we're the, the pro, right? They're so good at kind of reverse engineering impact back. Yeah. They're at much more of a leisurely pace to straightening this right arm because they had gave themselves so much less work to do coming down and they keep this bend. If you're starting that speed part of the downswing here and you want to get to here, it's just going to be a rapid yeah. that move. And the cool part about that whole thing is, you know, the, the, the players aren't trying to ever hold anything, but That's because right. they got into such a good spot and they're making an athletic motion, if I was going to, we talk about skipping a rock or throwing a sidearm. Right. If I was going to throw a sidearm, my elbow would be bent and I would release here. I wouldn't reach, straight right arm motion until the, my arm was parallel to the ground. I would throw it like that. You wouldn't throw it No, it's the way. same thing, right? They're, the tour player has less at the top, so he's still trying to get rid of it, but it doesn't all come out until here. Right. The average player is here and, and becomes so narrow on the downswing, the only way they can hit it is to throw it because otherwise they would drive the club straight into the ground. That's exactly right. So the takeaway then, and a great way to practice this, because right? you got to have a frame of reference this is exactly what you were doing. You get in the mirror, uh -huh. everybody's used to doing this, bend it halfway, golf uh -huh. posture. Okay, that's a pretty good place to be. Half of that is a pretty good place to be here, uh -huh. 
And then you go back and make a, make a bicep flex mm -hmm. right here. Now mm -hmm. you may get to here. Mm -hmm. You're rarely gonna get this arm intact all the way back there. So again, it's gonna show you where your top of the backswing needs to be. So go 90 degrees. You wanna go to the top yep. and put, put the club in your hand. That's a yep. really good Love spot it. to be. Yep, good. Right there. You're not gonna do this. That's what we see a lot of. You would never throw a ball from here either. This is a longer backswing, but it is a much slower, much less powerful If you were going to throw a ball, you would not do this. You wouldn't do it. So You'd have less than that. So that gives you the right arm motion throughout the swing. Pros versus ams. We like it's to talk so about hard to see clearly without 3D. Yeah, because of the way your um, body Unless moves. the camera is just literally following that right arm around. We're fortunate to be able to do that in gears. Basically, that's what we're showing you here. Yeah, when you do it and like actually this. see the measurements. Mm -hmm. So just looking at video images from one particular view, you're going to get a very skewed Yeah, the camera idea. would have to move to really see That's it. exactly right. You're going to get a very skewed idea of what the right arm does. This information we hope will help, and this is a great way to train it. Statically put yourself in these angles and then feel what it's like to hit these checkpoints in your swing with this arm basically in a cast. This is going to open up a lot of, a lot of eyeballs for golfers that go 90 and then see where they are at the top. What a great way to practice You're it. not gonna see many guys getting this club up here with 90 degrees. Very so, tough to do. So do that, work on your right arm motion. You're gonna be amazed at how better you start hitting it and how much more solid you're gonna hit it and you're gonna pick up some speed. That's exactly right, all bonuses. If you'd like more distance instantly, we put together a video just for that. All you need to do to get that video is click on the link below in the first pinned comment. We'll ask for your name, your email, and we'll send it out to you immediately. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Once you do that, click on notifications so you know when we have a brand new video coming out right away. Right, we wanna make this channel's content just for you guys, just for your golf game. So leave us some comments down below if you'd like to see something that we haven't already covered or wanna see it covered in a different way. We'll do our best to get that for you as soon as we can. And don't forget, if you wanna hit the ball farther, click the link below in the first pinned comment. Get you some instant distance. Instant.